Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Have you used a portfolio tracker before? Many people use it to see all of their investments in one place. It usually provides insights on performance, allocation, and related financial content. It's not uncommon to have more than one account with different brokers. Maybe one of them is a tax apprentice account or a stock plan account from your employer. Even if you have only one account most of the time, at least from all of the brokers that I have used so far, usually they only provide limited details and insights. It's also a good way to keep your broker honest. How many shares you have from the different companies that you invest in, or when and how much dividend you should expect. Also, if the service is down, hey, it's another way to see how your investment is doing. So what are the best free tools out there? Ideally one that can be accessed on mobile and desktop as well. In this video, I'll share three different applications. So the first application is Yahoo Finance. In order to input your portfolio detail, there are several different ways to do it. The first one is to import uh, the file uh, in the data format supported by Yahoo Finance. The second one is just to link your broker. So uh, you can select one of the available broker here. Uh, they are only US-based stock broker though. And the other way is just to create it manually. You can specify the currency and then you can input all the shares that you have uh, and start adding the detail uh, when you bought it, how much, what was the price, how many shares and so on. So to showcase the functionality, I have created a demo portfolio of 14 stocks and one cryptocurrency. So when you open, you can see the uh, market value, the annual performance compared to GSPC here is the S&P 500. And then the risk profile according to Yahoo Finance, the valuation, diversity. Uh, and here is the list of stocks. You can easily order them by uh, the different criteria here, market value, daily gain, total gain, and so on. Yeah, when I make a purchase, I can just add a lot here. Uh, I can input the date of the purchase, number of shares, uh, price, and so on. I can even add a note, which is always good to go back to. For example, the reason why you bought the, the shares in the first place. And when I open the individual stock ticker, I can see all the financial overview, how the price movement of the stock has been, and some financial detail on the right, earning over the last few quarters, annual and quarterly revenue, the recommendation trend from different analysts, and also upgrade and downgrade, which usually affect the stock price, uh, the company profile, and so on. There's also on the left, as you can see here, uh, all the news content from different sources. So usually when there is a sharp price movement up or down, there would be an article explaining that. Uh, that is very convenient. So what I like about Yahoo Finance is the mobile app as well. So let's check it out. So when you open, uh, as usual, you see the total portfolio, market value. Uh, you could create your watch list here if you want, the potential stocks that you want to buy. The price here is the current price. Uh, if the market is not open yet, you would see the pre-market price, vice versa. When the market closes, you can see the post-market price. And if you view the details, similar to the desktop, uh, you can do sorting. Um, it's very responsive. Um, so I can sort uh, the different stuff that I have here by total gain uh, percentage of change. So I can see which one uh, is up the most, which one is down. I can reorder them uh, in the way that I need. And uh, yeah, similar to the mobile app, you see the aggregated news uh, and also the financial detail. So there is portfolio analytics here. Unfortunately, it is uh, a paid feature and it's not available as far as I know for those who live in Europe. 
Uh, however, uh, we can use the second application which provide uh, additional insight to what Yahoo Finance provide here. So with Wallmine, you can actually import the Yahoo portfolio that you created before. So I have uh, exported it from Yahoo Finance. Yeah, so uh, once the, the file is selected, I can import. Yeah, so everything is imported successfully here. Uh, so you can see the performance over time. You can change the timeline here and then the return comparing it to uh, the other index. So S&P 500, NASDAQ and so on. Uh, and then there's benchmark as well. The total return compared to again, the different index over time. Uh, and that is good to know because if you pick your own stocks, uh, you want to be sure that you are consistently beating the market because otherwise uh, you might be better with index fund instead. So uh, it also provides insights uh, like the allocation of the different shares that you have and the instrument of crypto, large capital stocks here, and then how they are uh, across different industry. Are you well diversified? Uh, the different sectors and industries here which is good. And also based on um, geography, most of them US stock here, but there are some uh, stock from different countries, all in USD. And then you can also track your dividend uh, and it also show you the total amount of dividend that you have collected so far. And then which uh, stocks contributing to your dividend by uh, percentage. So that is good. So you can see the calendar here as well. So you can uh, be updated in following all the stocks that you have in your portfolio. Uh, you can see the, the X dividend date, earning coming up for different stocks that I have here. And then you can see past events as well. Uh, so Walmart has a mobile app as well, but it's not as responsive as Yahoo Finance. So when you, uh, sort like the different stocks you have, for example, by uh, total gain here, for example, you'll see the same experience as in mobile. So the whole screen refresh. Um, it's not as bad, but uh, I, I like to pick on these things because I'm a software engineer. Uh, yeah, you can also uh, edit the amount of shares that you have purchased for the individual uh, stock. You can edit the transaction here. And then uh, you can add a new one. So you can also set the alert here. So you will be notified by email. I also get the email regularly, almost daily, how my portfolio is doing, uh, which stock is up. So that is good if, in case you're not checking every day and then you can go back and then see the notification on email. The other thing is there are a lot of uh, powerful tools here from Wallmine. Um, so there's a stock screener and there's cryptocurrency screener as well, which is relatively new. So you can look at the market as well and follow the news. There's heat map for S&P and how the different sectors are doing and all the different news, uh, financial news affecting the stock market. It's very convenient. And then when you open one of the stock that you have, for example, you can see all the details. Um, it's pretty comprehensive here. The number of uh, financial metrics available. There's charting tools for technical analysis as well. So you can see SEC filing from the company uh, and then news updates uh, organized by time. Uh, insider trading, uh, earning report transcript. So if I click this, it will take me to pool.com. You can also compare different companies if you want. Yeah, so it's pretty powerful. You can see all the financial quarterly updates here, the income statement, balance sheet. Yeah, so a lot more information than what you have available with the free version of Yahoo Finance.
So if you don't want to uh, input your portfolio manually, you can also just link your brokers. Uh, so let's try that. It use displayed uh, API to help uh, pull the data securely. So let me find E-Trade. So everything was imported successfully. Yeah, and then as you can see, uh, all the data is updated. There's not much detail here because the account is relatively new. Uh, but yeah, similar to what we have seen before, I can see how am I diversified across different industry. So with Wallmine, you can have up to three portfolio for free. Um, beyond that, you'll need to pay for the premium feature. So the third application is Google Spreadsheet. So you can use Google Finance function to find the price of a share, uh, the price change and so on. So you can uh, create a very highly customized spreadsheet uh, to your own needs. So I like a template here uh, created by Brian Withers, uh, an analyst from the Bank Me Pool. Uh, you can search uh, and then find the link from here. And this is how it looked like. So you can see here, it used Google Finance function to find uh, the price and uh, you can customize it uh, as needed. So you can group the different stock by different categories like non-taxable and taxable. So if you're really familiar with Google Sheets, uh, you can just uh, try this out and you can customize uh, as you need it. And uh, it's pretty powerful. The, the price is delayed for up to 20 minutes, but that's okay for a uh, long-term investor. So uh, that's all the three application for tracking your portfolio. Uh, hopefully this is helpful and as usual, if you have any feedback or question, feel free to drop a comment uh, below and good luck with your investment.